Hello kids. Roxy Reader here to talk with you about the story, Julius. Howdy kids. Book Bunny here with Roxy to talk with you about this funny story. I really laughed hard at the funny parts of this story. Julius is really silly. I wish that I had a pet like him. Julius is a gift to Maya from her granddaddy. He lives up in Alaska. That is one of our 50 states here in America. Let's watch this quick video on Alaska. Alaska. Imagine its dramatic landscape, wildlife, and rich history revealed through a lens of comfort and impeccable service. Holland America Line has been revealing Alaska's majestic wild places and friendly ports to guests since before it was a state, presenting visitors with an insider's view of this pristine frontier. Denali National Park, Glacier Bay National Park, the Yukon Territory, and beyond. 14-day cruises depart from Vancouver, British Columbia, or from Seattle. There are over 300 shore excursion options to choose from. And you can expand your adventure on a Holland America Line cruise tour into the great interior of Alaska and the Yukon, where wildlife, geography, and history tell a story like no other on Earth. However you choose to experience the great land, this is the once-in-a-lifetime adventure you've been dreaming of. That was really amazing. I enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful places in Alaska. It must be a fun place to live. I can certainly see why Maya's granddaddy lives there part of the year. While you were reading this story, did you monitor your reading? What does that mean? Monitoring your reading is when you pay attention to how well you understand the story. If you're not sure about something, you should reread or read ahead to clarify. I think I understand, but could you give me an example of what it means to monitor your reading? Sure. Here is an example of what I thought to myself while I was reading this story. While I was reading, I got to the part where Julius was teaching my things and I couldn't remember everything he taught her. So I asked myself, I think Maya learned these things, swinging, trying on hats and dancing, from Julius. But, I don't remember so I'll look back at the story. When I looked back I could see that I was right about the things Julius had taught Maya. Julius did teach her to dance, and they would swing together on a swing and dress up in hats. Thanks. You did a nice job of showing me how to monitor and clarify what I am reading. This is just another way that you can make sure that you understand what you are reading. You can always stop and ask yourself questions or you can reread a portion of the story. You could look at pictures for clues. Some stories like this one have characters and events that couldn't happen in real life. This is called fantasy. Could you give me an example from this story? Sure. Here are some of the things in this story that tell us that it is a fantasy story. Julius drinks from a cup. Pigs can't do that. Julius sits in a chair and reads. Pigs can't do that either. Julius tries on clothes, hats and shoes. That is all fantasy. It couldn't really happen in real life. I really like stories that are fantasy. They are fun to read. Here are some more questions for you. Why did Granddaddy tell Maya that what was in the crate would teach her fun and sharing? I think her Granddaddy told her that so that she would be interested in what was in the box. It was also a surprise for her to learn that she could learn about sharing from a pig while she was having fun. Why does Granddaddy put ice cubes in his coffee? He does that because he lives part of the time up in Alaska where it is really cold. The ice cubes remind him of Alaska. How did Maya and her parents first react to Julius? I think that Maya's parents didn't think they would like Julius. They couldn't see how he could be fun or teach her anything. But Maya loved Julius right away. Why do you think Maya's parents let Julius stay in their home? 
I think that Maya loved her pig. Her parents wanted her to be happy. Also, it was a gift from her granddaddy. What do you think the author is trying to tell readers about Maya and Julius? I am not sure what you mean. Can you ask that question in a different way? Yes. The author is writing about these two characters. What do you think she wants us to know about them? Is she trying to tell you something about their relationship or does she want you to know something about their behavior? Okay. I think I understand your question now. I think the author is telling us about the relationship that Maya and Julius have together. They will be very special friends. I agree with you. While reading this story you can really see how they become very special friends. Well kids, that is all we have time for today. We hope you enjoyed reading the fun adventures of Julius and Maya. We will see you real soon in another story. Bye bye.